All right, I got an interesting video for you all today. Um, it's basically what sort of ways you want me to measure data going forward in future videos. So I've been reading and learning a lot more about sounds, basically. So we got the decibel rating, and then we have sones, S-O-N-E, as well as like frequency ranges to like pain and pleasant sounds and unpleasant sounds, that sort of thing for the human hearing. So let's get into that. And I really want your feedback. So I'll probably create a survey after this video is published uh, as well. But do go ahead and leave comments down below because I'll read through it for how you want me to analyze future videos. So this is all on the internet. What is a sone? A sone is a measurement of sound familiar, similar to decibels. Uh, produced, air conditioners, blah, 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 blah. You can pause if you actually want to read it. What is the sone rating? Uh, it is an indication of loudness of a particular device. In this case, a fan. A decibel rating is a physical measurement of a sound level, where it's the physical sound pressure or level or frequency of that. A sound rating was developed to ha measure how humans think how loud a sound is, not just the physical aspects of it, because humans perceive sounds differently based on the frequency of the sound, which means it's tricky to then, because you have to get the decibel reading and it's weighed differently at different frequencies for how the human here perceives it. Um, so that part is a little bit beyond my understanding if you understand it and want to give me advice please do so i'm a aerospace engineer mechanical specializing not really sound and engineer um so higher frequencies the better humans can hear it but also the harsher it sounds so low frequencies will sound quieter to us than a high frequency um when the sound rating was created, the test subjects were asked how loud a sound was and how they felt about them. Sorry, I know this is a wall of text. Um, versus decibels, sone is a linear measurement. So one, two, three, four, five. And it's related to a decibel measurement. So decibel rating. Every 10 decibels doubles the sound. So 10 to 20. 20 is twice as loud. But the spacing between it on a graph looks the same uh 20 to 30 30 is twice as loud as 20 or four times as loud as 10 but the spacing between it looks the same so on a graph they're going to look a little bit closer and it has some gra graphs in a little bit well sewn two is twice as big as one four is twice as big as two so three is 50 percent more noise than two so it will stretch things out, if you will. And um, here's, here's some more like information on it. Uh, like under one zone is going to be impossible to e hear. Now, my, my scaling for how I read decibels, I subtract out my room noise because it's not super consistent because I don't have a noise isolating chamber. I'm not at that level yet. That is room for future growth for my channel, but I can use mathematical equations to determine what my sound level is with relation to all the other fans. So it will still be consistent with each other, just um, not to actual sound values, if that makes sense. So some values will be under one sound, but the, but the, but I would be, but I'm able to hear the fan if that makes sense, because I'm subtracting out the room volume first before incorporating the fan, uh, say the room noise. Uh, more than 10 zones is considered potentially damaging. In other words, hearing loss. Um, okay, there are some established equations. So next comes proving the equations. So uh, sewn versus decibels, sewn horizontal, decibels vertical, and it generates this equation. So it's generate Excel is generating this equation, uh, flipping what's on each axis. So decibels are now horizontal, sewns are vertical. 
I'm able to get an exponential. This is because math is hard sometimes. Then I proved their equations, and then I did the math for my trend line equation, just because I was curious and I like math sometimes. Uh, and, you know, you can see the trend line equation over here and over here if you really want to bounce. Sorry, I don't think I included that. But, you know, I plugged it in, and what do you know? The numbers all match. So then I did the reverse. I calculate for sown. Do, do, do. Almost a perfect match. There's some round off. And using my generated equation, it's not quite the same. It's a little bit different, but it's very close. So that proves that I'm at least analyzing it correctly. Now, this, I'm going to try to walk you through it because I can understand if this is hard to take a look at. So on the right side here, we have decibels versus airspeed. On the right side, we have sewn versus airspeed. So if you look at the sewn ones, the fans that are quieter are much more crammed in, tighter over here, going going left so like particularly what's the screen one the f14 well fans they get much much noisier tend to stretch out farther so it's pretty clear how much noisier these fans are because they're so much further away than the other fans again ignore that the sound values are so low they're actually i can actually hear them i subtract out room volume uh not room volume room room ambient noise decibels everything everything at the beginning is much more stretched out the fans that are at the upper end where it's actually really noisy because you know you got five ten so 15 decibels is twice as loud as five you know 20 decibels is twice as loud as 10 so 35 decibels is four times as loud as 15 decibels it doesn't look like it's four times farther away. That's sort of the problem with decibels and why it's important to explain that in every video. Or I can use sewn and everything stretches out, but it also means that fans might get crammed up in here and I would have to lob off some data sometimes. Uh, let's go through some more examples. So this is sewn and this is decibels, exact same data set. I'm bouncing back and forth a few times. So, you know, you can you can see here like particularly what's this the A14 just stretches way off to the side. Well, over in decibels, it doesn't really do that. Which which data set do you prefer? Uh 9 inch airflow uh these are 120 millimeter fans sewn on this one versus decibels. So it's it's how far stretched out are some of these lines sticking out to like going from right to left or left to right, I should say. So it's which which way do you prefer seeing it? Sewn makes a lot of sense in that it on the graphs it'll penalize the fans that get really noisy by having the data data sets way off uh to the right. Uh but maybe decibels is easier to read and understand so that's where i'm looking for your all feedback in what you would like to see because uh most people kind of have an idea what a decibel is not very many people know what a sewn is and i would have to explain that at the beginning of every video probably which is fine i'm perfectly happy to do that and that's why i'm leaving it to you guys what you would like to see because I, I, I guess I don't care. It's whatever you, the viewers, are most just most interested in. Um, and so I'm looking for that feedback. Uh, I've got a lot of videos lined up right now, like uh, right there. I got I got all these videos that are waiting in my pipeline to be edited and stuff. So. Um, this would be for like next future testing and I would convert all the data to zones. So I am looking for this feedback if so, please let me know. 
anyways, thank you for what very much for watching this video. It's a feedback video. Um, if you like what I'm doing, please support me on Patreon or th think about supporting me on Patreon or think about supporting me as a YouTube member. Hitting that subscribe button does go a long way in helping with this channel. If uh, you've got advice for me on how to anal analyzing data that you would like to see it done in a different way, please let me know. And uh, well, I guess other than that, have a great day and I hope to see you next time here on Computer Tech and more.